Five minutes before the hour, Michael Patrick Shields with the full sports story for you. The Tigers avoided a sweep in Los Angeles yesterday with a 7-5 to win over the Dodgers yesterday afternoon. It went right down to the wire, and we're very happy because uh, the Dodgers had two out games up on us, and we didn't want to come out of L.A. without anything. So Dodgers get two, Tigers get one. They have today off. They'll return to action and host the Arizona Diamondbacks at Comerica Park tomorrow night. Nick Lidstrom was out west in Las Vegas at the uh, NHL Awards, and he came away with some hardware, the James Norris Trophy. Seventh time that he's won that trophy in his career as the league's top defenseman, and we're happy to hear he's coming back next year for at least one more year anyway with the Red Wings. Pistons are getting ready for tonight's NBA draft. Venus Williams is through the third round at Wimbledon and on the men's side, Andy Roddick, Raphael Nadal, and Andy Murray also advanced at the All England Lawn and Tennis Club for the fortnight of Wimbledon. Tiger Woods will not play in next week's AT&T National Tournament. That's big news because that's uh, the tournament that supports his foundation and if he can't play his foundation can't be very good. That Achilles heel still bothering him. It, the tournament's going to be in Philadelphia. He is going to be there to support the event, but he won't be playing in it. Um, in, in Connecticut, the PGA Tour gets started today with the Travelers Championship at the TPC River Highlands. And Rory McIlroy, um, who uh, won the U.S. Open, almost won the Masters, 22 years old, is not going to play the PGA Tour full time. He plays the European Tour and the major tournaments and the World Golf Championships, and a lot of people thought, you know, he could make a lot of money playing in the U.S., but he says, no, thank you. Uh, he's not going to become a full-time PGA member because he likes to play in Europe, and if you're going to be on the PGA Tour, you have to play a certain number of events on the tour, and he doesn't want to commit to those. So Rory McIlroy, everybody says he's a great guy. He sticks to his guns. He loves his home country of Ireland. And uh, he'll continue to do that, even though he's the reigning U.S. Open champion. I, in my Antigua golf shirt, am ready to battle Ken Dallafor, the former Detroit Lion at Forest Dunes in Roscommon. On Friday, he leads me in the Lifetime Series. He has nine wins, seven losses, and two ties. And I'm just trying to get close to even the series again. So we're in pure Michigan golf. And uh, we love it here in our state. We'll get the weather report for you coming up soon, too. It's Michael Patrick Shields on radio stations and television all across Michigan. Welcome to your Thursday. It's Michael Patrick Shields and the Tigers uh, went up against the Los Angeles Dodgers in Los Angeles yesterday in interleague play. And, um, well, they dropped the first two games to the Dodgers. What happened in game three? Rich Kincaid was there. After striking out 11 times on Monday and 11 times on Tuesday, the Tigers struck out 13 times yesterday, meeting in their three-game series against the Dodgers. The Tigers struck out an amazing 35 times. It was enough to make veteran Dodger broadcaster Vince Scully, he's seen it all, who's been doing games since the early 1950s, say, I'll be darned. But the Tigers overcame those 13 strikeouts with four home runs. Wells, Ordonius, Cabrera, and Kelly all went deep, and it added up to a 7-5 victory by the Tigers over the Dodgers. Once the Tigers got a game-saving catch with two outs in the bottom of the ninth inning from Austin Jackson, who caught a fly at the warning track to save the ball game. The Dodgers had the bases loaded. They surely would have won had Jackson not made the catch. Finally yesterday, the Tigers 7, the Dodgers 5. The Tigers are off today. They open a 10-game homestand at Comerica Park on Friday night. I'm Rich Kincaid. Back to you, Michael Patrick. Uh, they were in their throwback uniforms yesterday, the Tigers and the Dodgers. Uh, Nick Lidstrom wins the seventh James Norris Trophy of his career last night. You get that for being the league's top defenseman. They had a little ceremony out there in Las Vegas, and uh, he won that, and uh, he's coming back for one more year with the Red Wings. We think it's one more year. <coughs> he will not say whether it's his last year. So he won't have a sort of a goodbye tour because he's not saying if it's his last year. He's saying another year. Pistons are getting ready for tonight's NBA draft. If you're watching uh, Wimbledon, Venus Williams is through the third round now. And on the men's side, Andy Roddick, Rafael Nadal, and Andy Murray also advanced. Tiger Woods will not be advancing to the AT&T tournament next week. That's his, um, and they're playing it at Aronimink in Philadelphia. And uh, it's the tournament that supports his foundation so badly, apparently, is he injured that he can't even play in that. And uh, so the Achilles tendon still proving to be his Achilles tendon. The PGA Tour is in Connecticut. The Travelers Championship gets started 
today. Television viewers, thanks for being with us this morning. Radio listeners, stay right where you are. We have an exciting hour coming your way next. And if you're watching on television, you want to hear it, it's 12.40 a.m. WJIM in the Lansing market everywhere else around Michigan. Stay right where you are. It's Michael Patrick Shields, Michigan's Morning Show.